many years ago, a king by the name Chadusan ruled a country called Benaras. My lord, you have given me all the prosperity. Without a child, what is the use of this wealth? King every day worshipped God. One day, God answered his prayers. He was blessed with a boy. Years rolled by. My son has grown up to be a handsome, brilliant and a courageous young man. Amit, the palace washerman, was a close friend of Rohit, the prince. One day, I will go to Amit's house to see him. When Rohit went there, he saw a beautiful girl. Wow! What a beauty! If I marry, it should be only this girl. Rohit narrated about the girl to Amit. Oh, her name is Sunita. She belongs to the washerman community. You should definitely help me to marry her. Okay, I will. Amit too wanted to marry her. Since Prince wanted to marry her, Amit suppressed his wish. One day, he went to the palace. My lord, Prince Rohit wants to marry a girl called Sunita. Only you have to fulfill his wish. I will do anything for my son. I will make arrangements for his marriage. Meanwhile, in a Kali temple. Mother, if I marry Sunita, I will offer my head in sacrifice on the next full moon day. Days passed. Rohit married Sunita. The couple started their new life happily. When full moon day came, Sunita, Amit, come let's go. We have to go to the Kali temple. As they reached the temple, you both stand outside. I want to offer my prayers. He went in. Mother, as I said, please accept my sacrifice. Rohit with his sword beheaded himself. Outside. You please wait here. He has not returned. I will come back. Amit, who entered in, was shocked to see his friend lying down. Oh God! Without my friend, I don't want to live. So I will also. Amit also beheaded himself. Sunita, who was waiting outside, entered the temple to see what had happened. Uh, what is this? Without my husband, I don't want to live. Let me follow him. When she took a sword to give herself to the goddess, a bright light stopped her. Kali appeared. My child, I am moved by your sacrifice. I'll give life to both of them. While doing so, Amit's head was placed on Rohit's body and Rohit's head was placed on Amit's body. Betal, stop telling the story. O oh, King, tell me now. Who is the rightful husband of Sunita? Please remember, if you answer, I will leave you and fly back to the tree. If you know the answer and refuse to talk, your head will blow into pieces. Sunita's husband will be the body of Rohit's head. Because head is the destiny for a person and also important for personality and character. I am happy. Perfect answer. But... You have spoken, so I'm going back to my place. <laughs>
Vikramaditya followed Betal, who flew back to the tree.